Hi, I decided to buy the cheapest one micrometer DRO, three axis DRO per mil I could find on AliExpress. Um, let's see how bad it is. So, um, first bit of vaguely good news is that it says one micron on it. I wasn't entirely convinced due to the price I paid for it that I'd get micron scales. Um, obviously it remains to be seen whether they're actually any good. It does look like I've probably got the right length scales, which should be 200, yep. 300, 350, 350, yeah. So that's the y-axis, the z-axis, and the x-axis needs to be 500 and something. Yeah, five, that's 500 thereabouts. So fingers crossed that doesn't cause us any issues. Now they are pretty big. That's uh, only downside, but they were very, very cheap. Let's uh, wire this up and see if we can get something out of it. So I'll show you this. This is the um, uh, place where I got this from, uh, AliExpress. It's the Linear Displacement Sensor Store. They, it looks like they've been around for a few years, um, since 2017. Um, reasonable feedback, so kind of had some confidence that I might get what I ordered. Um, I, I did. Uh, so that's good. Um, I went for the three axis VIP. The difference there is the um, standard one looks like uh, uh, one of the, one of these regular kind of DROs, whereas the VIP one um, is has got this sort of nicer display. Um, wasn't a huge amount in it, so I thought I'd go for the better one. Um, and shipping fourteen pounds. So all in all. I think there's a discount code, so I ended up paying about 175 pounds for the whole lot, 176 pounds maybe, um, uh, and it arrived in about two weeks from ordering, so that wasn't bad at all. Um, I just left a note with my order to say what size scales I wanted, um, and they they supplied them, so great. to be concerned or reassured that there's an earthing point on the back. So it's come with a, a Chinese paint cable, uh, but uh, it's not a problem. Standard computer kettle bleed does the job. Now, hang on. We've got some random numbers on the screen. What does that look? Look at that. That is hundredths of a micron it's incrementing in. Wow. It really is quite amazing. Whether it's any good <laughs> remains to be seen. Let's um, test it. Oh, tell you what, I've got one, two, three blocks. This is what these are for, precision measuring. This probably isn't the most accurate way of doing things, but let's try this. Zero that out on the table against that block and we'll put our 80 millimeter block in and 79996 I mean that's depending on how much you wobble it yeah um, yeah 
seems to work. Why do I sound surprised? Right, let's have a look at what I've got here. Um, so we've got a manual. Unfortunately, this manual is entirely in Chinese. I don't know whether that's going to show. There we are. Focus. There we are. See, it's got some got some Western characters, but most of it's in uh, in Chinese. So I have emailed them. I uh, haven't heard back yet about whether I could have a, an English manual. Um, we've got, a, obviously, the, the main unit. Um, comes with a set of mounting bits. Um, from the picture, it looks like it's supposed to have a swing arm. I don't appear to have got that. Um, I suppose you get what you pay for. Um, not a problem for me, because I think I'm going to mount it differently to my mill anyway. Um, but you get a load of fixings, cable ties, little earth wire to bond to something. Um, and then I've got my three scales. We've got three scale covers. I've got two mounting brackets and four bags of fixings. Um, so don't know whether I'm supposed to get three mounting brackets and three fixings and they've got mixed up or, or what. But again, I don't think it's going to matter because the x-axis... Um, I think will be mounted pretty much directly to the uh, X and Y sort of components uh, and won't need this sort of setup. Uh, and then you get in these, all these three packets seem to be identical. You get some shims, some P-clips, a variety of bolts and um, sort of cap head bolts and some, some various washers seem for just mounting it all together. So these brackets, um, one's tapped, the other one's got slotted holes, so there's some adjustment in that direction, and they're slotted that way, so you've got adjustment that way, and then I assume the shims and things are just for the final little tweak that you might need. Um, again, not quite sure how that's going to work. The Y-axis especially is a bit tricky. Um, you might be wondering what's happening to the old Touch DRO. Um, there's a few issues with it. And I've got a number of projects I want to do, so I I have decided to cut my losses on that project. So there we are, that's what you get if you spend £180 on a 1 micron DRO from Ali, AliExpress. Um, so far, I think I'm relatively pleased with what I've got. Um, you know, functionally, it appears to be working correctly. Yes, I'm missing a couple of bits, but, you know, it's not the end of the world. Um, so, next video, I'll try and get it mounted to the the mill um we'll see how well that goes see you then thanks for watching